time, man. Bow my brain. I gotta get it, man. Bow my brain. Stay on my hustle, man. Bow my brain. Stay on my grind, man. Bow my brain. All the time, man. I learned how to invest. Let God handle the rest. I'm handling business. I love how I progress. What's up? What's good? It's your boy Ziggy and welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Now, when I came across the story, I had to, you know, had to post this on my channel. Now, my only question is, my only problem with this video is, now I get the mo I, the mother's going off, and I don't blame her. Now, don't give me, she's absolutely right. My only problem is, she keeps saying she think it's one of the men in the daycare. Now. The little boy has a sexually transmitted disease. So that means the little boy was forced to penetrate a woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? If a little boy has a sexual transmitted disease, that means a woman had sex with him who had something. I seen a case about six months ago where this, this woman gave a little boy about three, three, year, three four years old, gave him a uh, syphilis. Okay. And she was a daycare worker, gave, gave the four-year-old boy, he was like three or four, syphilis, okay? And they were trying to, first they were trying to blame a man. I'm like, hold on, how did, how they blame, how are you going to blame a man? But they found out a, it was a woman that gave it to him. And in this case, if a little boy has something, that means he was molested by a woman. Now, it could be possible that, I'm, that, that it could have been a man and a woman that was joining in on this. It sounds like it's kind of like a sicko, a sicko uh, daycare. You know what I'm saying? It just sounds like now you got some real sickos out here. You got sickos walking the street every day doing weird old stuff, okay? You got sickos, man, like just, just walking free and they never get caught for the, the disgusting things they do. Um, watch this video. I totally agree with the mother, but I, I believe it's more than, than just one person involved. It's a couple people involved. It's, it's a couple people involved in this, okay? And... One of the women at work there gave this boy a disease, man. It's horrible. Check this out. This is about the daycare on um, 57th of Prospect. This is probably the bathroom where they like to molest little boys. Is the white girl down here? Where the white teacher go? She made it her point to say somebody threatened her. Nobody threatened her. Y'all tell them people and y'all tell the parents that it's kids in here getting molested and y'all still open for business. That's sick. And you know it is. And you know it is. You know it is. You know one of those babies got a sexually transmitted disease? Imagine that was your grandbaby. Imagine it was yours. Y'all ain't gonna tell them people that? Y'all see these? Y'all still dropped y'all kids off here today. And this woman is being investigated and this kid's getting sexually abused in the bathroom. Do you know that that girl's poor baby cries in my sister's yellow bathroom? How sick. But y'all still open for business today. I bet y'all didn't tell all these parents who dropped their kids off the truth. I know that. Now where the lady go that said I threatened somebody? I didn't threaten anybody. Go and tell the truth, because I will march my fat ass through this whole entire day here. And you know that. Luella, you know the truth. Still open for business and probably still writing them in on your list like they present, whether they're here or not. Imagine one of your grandbabies had that going on. You have nothing to say. Nobody have nothing to say. Can't nobody address a parent? You don't got nothing to say either? It's nobody's problem, right? Oh, is this a parent? I hope it's a parent. Are you a parent? Oh, okay. Tell him the truth. Tell him his kids in here getting touched on. Tell him have a sexually trained for business. You still open for business? That's sick. My kids went here for 20 years. 20 years she got a check for my kids. Now nobody had nothing to say. 
Nobody. It wasn't my kid, but I guess I'm the only person to care. You know, every day y'all sat and told that girl how bad her son was, how he didn't listen, how he wouldn't go to the pot. Because it's a teacher in the bathroom putting a finger in his ass. Nobody have nothing to say now. No parent to talk to me. She got a check for my mother kids for 20 years. Is this the owner? That shit is sick. Now she back there on the phone. Tell the white girl I ain't threatening shit. Where's, where's, where's the owner at? She back there. Quiet. It's the truth. Tell some of these parents when they pick their kids up, people deserve to know. They deserve to know that there was a sexual predator working here in the building. You don't think a mother need to know that? Or is it more important to keep the check for the kids? Tell these motherfuckers the truth. How that baby cries when he see yellow walls because he's scared. Tell him the truth. Come on, Miss Corinne. You changed man man diapers. He's 16. Am I right? You don't think I would have deserved to know? Miss Lou, you ain't gotta get on no phone. We known each other too long. This how you this how you act toward me after 20 years? Come on, man. You know you wrong. You should not be open for business. It should be a sign on the door. We had a sexual predator. That motherfucker say holiday closing. Thanksgiving. Nobody have nothing to say. I'm going to say something. It's a baby. You on the phone up and able. It's a baby somewhere sick right now. Miss Lou, you got It's about a check with you. That's been. Oh, I'm getting ready to go. But before I go, I'm going to make sure everybody know that you still open for business after having a sexual predator here working. And it's a three-year-old baby that's got an STD and he caught it right here in that room from a grown-ass man. And Sunday, you're going to walk your ass into church. Listen, come Sunday, you're going to walk into church like you a God-fearing woman. You tell the motherfuckers that. That's what goes on at the church. Same people like you that look down on people. You in here teaching them to pray whole time. Somebody from the church. I hope y'all share this. If don't shit else I do go viral. I hope y'all share it. Tell them the truth. I'm telling every parent that walk out here. Somebody tell them. Tell them. Do you know they, they, they sexually abusing kids in here? Tell them. You caught the police. You didn't call them when they was touching kids. I don't have a warrant in the world. You picking your baby up? Did they tell you they were sexually abusing kids in the yellow bathroom? Nobody told you that? Go back in there and ask her are they under investigation for touching kids in the bathroom. Okay, you know one of them babies got an STD right here in this bathroom? She never told you that? Damn. Could you believe that? Damn, my kids used to go here for 20 years. She never told you. You still dropping your baby off. Damn. Tell them the truth. She can call the police. That's fine. You know they sexually abusing kids in here? And then what and my nephew got an STD from right here in this bathroom? Tell her. I'm I'm calm. I'm not making I've known this woman 20 years. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to you. You need ID? I'm no problem with that. I don't have a warrant in the world, sir. No, I don't need You know that? 
Children's I Mercy called one of the parents it's that's standing right out here. Yeah. No, she called. She said, I'm making a disturbance. I am. Is people still dropping their kids off? Is kids getting sexually molested? What, what if your kid, what if somebody dropped your kid off this morning and somebody was sticking their finger in his ass? Okay. And he's scared to go to the pot. Okay. Imagine that. Stop touching. Okay, I won't touch you. Make sure you don't touch me. Okay. But I'll go ahead and leave if it was a disturbance. No, no, you I need me to go, I'll go. No, no. I need you to talk to me. I'll talk. Okay. I said, imagine if you dropped your son off and he's getting potty trained and somebody was putting a finger in his ass and now that he has an STD. That's the only comment I got yeah. to say to you. I understand your frustration. That's the only comment I got to say. If you need my ID, I got it. No, no, no. Let me guess. It's under investigation. No, no, no. Yeah, that's the Bianca Cobbins. 11883. I've dealt with, with this. Not, oh, okay. Not well, I know it. But no. He's the officer on the case. No, I'm you not telling the, the truth? Yeah, I know yeah. She's yeah, still yeah. got. Hey, she's wait. still open for business. Yeah, I know her. That's. I know her. I'm oh, okay. Kidding. No, no. Well, that's my no, niece. No, I get it. I get what you're doing. I get. Here what you're you go. No. Nope. Tell these people the truth. Nobody is. Nobody is. Uh, nobody is like blaming you for this. I mean, who, they can call they want, but so. That baby got a disease. No, I mean, I, oh. I get it. That's your... That's her, my oh, niece. Your niece? Mm -hmm. What's her phone number? Because I've, I've talked you to You could call me. 816-359-1783. 1783? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, trust me. No, I... Right. I would be doing the goddamn same thing, so... Don't you worry about that. You're not in trouble. Um, we just, we really just, I, I get your frustration. I get. I won't make no confusion. I've been other, knowing this woman 20 years. And I would do the same thing, but we just can't. Oh, that's fine. I'll get have, off her property. I understand. No, you're fine right now. We're talking yet, but just in the future, just let, let, like, get in, get in to me. Let, let them handle it because coming here is just, as much as I know I would want to, it's just, you know, it's just not going to help. Okay, that's, that's fine. I'll leave. But any need. parent I see out here, I'm telling them. That's your right. Any parent I see out here, I'll sit out here all day. I'm telling them. I'm telling them. They in there touching little boys in there. Putting his finger up in their ass. Mr. Dancy. And one of them babies got a disease. So, yeah, it ain't cool. His name is Mr. Dancy. That's all I Tell these fucking people the truth. People still dropping their kids off. Look at them. Tell them. Shit, I'm telling everybody who come out. They could call whoever. I could bond out the same day. Hey. Tell them, Miss Sherry. You know and I know. Everybody know. The parents last to know. You want me to leave? I'll leave. It's the truth. Sick motherfucker. So keep dropping your kids off. They ain't gonna say shit to you. They gonna let it keep going on. Like it's okay, anything for a state check. And bitches do anything to drop their kids off. Still gonna drop them off? You think you dropping your kids off to some God-fearing people? These motherfuckers are sick. Tell them the truth. You got people dropping their babies off in harm's way. They going to work, they going to school. Dropping them off in harm's way. With a fag. A sicko. Ain't no wrong with being gay, but damn, to a three-year-old? Damn. You still gonna let the mama, you still gonna let her drop her kids off? This shit been going on since January, and God knows how long before it ends. You got people whooping their kids because they don't go to the pot the whole time they scared. Tell them. 
I'm sitting right across the street. It's four o'clock. It's going to be some parents to pick them up. I bet they didn't know. I bet they didn't know. I don't even got kids. My kids is grown. My kids went to this daycare a long time ago. But me and this person is blood. Whose kids they are. Tell these motherfuckers the truth. I'm not going anywhere. This is a, a public street. Tell them. Tell these people the truth. Anything so she could get a check for these people kids. She ain't tell nobody. She ain't told them. She wrote a note and said, Mr. Dancy's no longer with us. That's how long, that's how much she care about people kids. That all she felt to do was to write a note and say, he's no longer with us. I bet he ain't. Anything to get a state check. That's how they do us. Call the police. I don't care. And I'll go to jail. I know what's right is right and wrong is wrong. Tell these people the truth. She's still open for business. Look, workers, everybody's still clocking in. He up here messing with little boys who can't talk. He target kids that can't talk. Got people whooping their kids, thinking they ain't going to the pot. They scared to. Sick. Talking about the church. There go the church right there where her car is parked and the police, such good friends with the church that nobody told the parent. Nobody told the parent. Nobody. Tell these people the truth. Share that shit all over Facebook and tell them. Wonder why a black men is so lost. Shit. Look how they do them. Nobody gives a fuck. Here's the school bus. I'll tell them. Excuse me. I want a good view. Nobody got nothing to say. Still open for business. Anything to get a check from the state of Missouri. You think you dropping your kids off to a safe haven. Some days I know, because I have five kids. My kids went here for 20 fucking years. These parents don't know shit. She ain't told them shit. Imagine that. All she put up was a note that said, Mr. Dancy's no longer with us. She didn't say why. She didn't say shit. I'm going to have signs up all over this motherfucker in the morning. Bet you I do. Look at her dropping kids off to get molested. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. So share it. Y'all never share shit I ever put on Facebook. Share that. I'm going to sit out here so I see the next parent come. And the next one and the next one and the next one. Yep. 5717 Prospect. He target kids that can't talk. So all the time, people whooping their kids, thinking they won't go to the pot. They scared to. Because he in there putting his finger and fucking with their butts. Tell them that. And guess what, y'all? She's still open for business and never even told the parents. She told the parents, Mr. Dancy's no longer with us. Nothing to say. Everybody kids in here dropped off. Nothing to say. My phone about to die. I could tell by it's moving slow. But yep, when I get off of here, share it, share it, share it. Because it's true. That's her number. 
I can't drop him off downtown. He know that. How you gonna tell me, Donita, what's not true? And I've been knowing this woman 20 fucking years. It is true. And I got the papers from what happened to the little boy, from what happened to Mr. Dancy. Cause it happened to my nephew. So I know exactly what I'm talking about, Donita. It did too. He's sticking his finger in people's asses till their asses is raw. Yes, he is. Take up for all you want to. I know what the fuck happened. Cause we got the call. The R has been touched on. Shit, I know exactly what the fuck happened. It is what happened. Ain't no parents know. The parents don't know. This woman been watching my kids since Debo was a baby. He's 24. I know her real well. Yes, she did too.